Hello, gentlemen. Don't think there's any ladies on. So, hello, lads. Um, my name's Lee Roach. I'm the founder of WeQuote. Um, so, been building this software platform for the past eight years now. Um, it originally started off as just my own quoting tool. And uh, over the past few years, um, I've been building it as a business because uh, people started asking me, could they use my quoting tool? And uh, it all sort of grew from from that from that point. Uh, it was mainly um, the smart home industry, re residential AV. Then last year, uh, it sort of bled into the security industry. And what's been happening over the past few months is it's been starting to happen again in the electrical industry. So kind of going back to my roots, uh, I'm actually still in the NICIC, don't, not doing any jobs though. So it's, uh, if I leave, I can't get back in. So it's uh, kind of just keep it, just put a socket on in my neighbor's garage every once a year or something like that just to keep the NIC. But uh, yeah, so let's just carry on. So a bit of an overview, uh, just for tonight's agenda, we're just going to, just an informal go through the platform. We're going to build an electrical quote. We're going to give... Um, the customer some interactive options. So we're going to be, make this quote to it's engaging and then we want to be able to send it as well. So why now? So look, I, I spent 20 years running my own business and um, I've lost a lot of my time with my family and stuff. And I just feel like things need to change. It doesn't have to, quoting software doesn't need to be expensive. It doesn't need to be slow. Um, it wants to be quick, and that's what I'm trying to achieve with WeQuote. It wants to be value for money, um, the quickest and the best. And, you know, really those three things never get them to together. And I want to defy logic with the platform. And, um, you know, this is why I don't charge on users, and it's uh, unrestricted features as well. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how big you are as a business. If you're like me, which was a one-man band, or you're to my biggest customer, it does you know, up to 150 million a year turnover. No one's persecuted on their size of a number of employees, you know, which I'll explain our pricing further down sort of to the end of the at this uh, webinar. And like I say, it started off for UK integrators, and it's been bleeding into other industries. Um, it is all cloud-based. It's all built on a Amazon AWS, which is the best cloud platform, in my own opinion. And um, our biggest USP is the live link prices. So you're probably saying, what is live link prices? So the biggest pain in the arse for me when I was when I was quoting all the time was checking the prices. So there's lots of people who can like upload your price list and you know, I'll send me a CSV and asking your supplier to send you this. Look, this is all just an absolute nightmare for you, the supplier. I'm trying to keep all this up to date. As soon as you get a price list, it's literally out of date. So a live link is we quote connects to the wholesaler, the manufacturer, or the distributor. We physically have a piece of software that connects to the accountancy system, and we are pulling through the prices every single day. So it's a minimum of once a day if it's a live link. We've got live link version two, which is just rolling out at the moment, which is pulling in all the live stock feeds and promotional information as well. So look, I, I'm all on for the installer side. So if we can uh, make a little bit more money, um, promotions coming through the platform, and uh, we know where the stock levels are, that absolutely helps us when we're uh, building our proposals up. So I built this platform from the ground up. It's not using anyone else's framework. Um, there is probably its fifth life revision of where it is now. And I so pride myself on it, trying to be user friendly and engaging. Now, myself personally, I'm dyslexic, so I struggle a little bit to focus. And I've actually built the platform using like dyslexic fonts and everything's trying to be not overwhelming. And I weight the fonts and the text size in certain ways. So it helps me concentrate and anywhere else is really, really easy. Um, so the user experience and design, you know, I really pride myself on it trying to be simple and, and engaging because um, if you sat up using it at night you don't want to be looking at a boring interface so i really spent time um on the ux ui which is the user interface 
So the most important thing is actually the the proposal that the customer sees. That's the main. That's that really. You know, it's I, I, it's it's. I always say to people, you know, what do you want the platform to do? What do you want it? What's the end result? It says, don't worry about how we get there. It's more to say, um, I want this quote to look like this, and then you kind of work backwards. And um, on this platform, I built it so you the for me was to how to, how we engage our customers, how how we stop the customer from taking our quote and giving it to someone else down the road. And I'll show you how like how I built my business um, and scaled it up using WeQuote and how I stopped kind of like, well, you're never going to stop a customer giving you a quote somewhere else. But if you use our options facility and you engage the client where you may send the proposal out with the base price, for example, and then the client's got options and then they can choose it up because we all have those quote anxiety where you're trying to rush to get a quote finished out the door. You know, if you're up late at night, you know, I did it many, many times. And then you sort of about to click the send email and think, oh no, it's too much. Or you start playing mind games with yourself. And it's, you know, so I want to try and stop those anxiety feelings and being able to send a quote out in confidence. Um, because look, we're not charities. We have to make money. And if we give the customer choice, we've got more likely to win the job. So, you know, one of the things I, as I say is, is have a clear, defined proposal so the customer knows exactly what he's getting and you know what you're doing. You know, that's really important. Questions we'll save for, for later. So we'll just uh, close this down. Well, I will answer any questions you've got in the chat as well. So if you fire them in, I'll answer them. Thank you, Nick. Let's just go on to here. Okay, so this is uh, just a brand new account I've put together today. As you can see, LEN Electrical, Live Earth Neutral, kept it simple. <laughs> so this, I've just made this as a, as, a, as a test account, and if anyone has already signed up or was thinking about signing up, any of these proposal quotes that I've done, I can load these into your account for you so you can have a little play around with it because I haven't actually built any electrical uh, sample quotes as of yet. But so tomorrow morning, we're going to start putting them into... Um, people's accounts who've signed up who are from electrical background so just want to go straight into so sort of the, the the catalogs so this is really our our biggest our biggest selling point is the fact that we live link to so many suppliers so for the av and the security industry we've pretty much got everyone on now there's maybe one or two left which are still coming on and now what we're trying to do is we want to start going more into the electrical industry. So at the moment, we've got city electrical factors. And um, the one I'm going to be using tonight is Expert Electrical. So these are a big online electrical wholesaler. And I've linked my catalog. So when you, when you sign up, what you have to do is you then request access to a particular supplier. You click your link account. Press this button. It fills all your details in for you. And then you just click Send requ Request. That will then go off to the supplier and then they'll choose if they want to give you an account or not. If you already have an account, they'll know who you are and then they'll approve you. So it's, uh, and then you've got all the live link pricing going on. So here on this tab, you can see I've got my link catalogs, expert electrical, we've linked through. I can view the catalog. And then these are the same categories that is on their website. So if you do buy off expert electrical or it's another wholesaler, it will be their categories. So go to lighting, let's say LED floods. And there we go. So here's like my high cost, my sell price. Maybe I want to uh, put a whole discount on here. So you'll notice that we've got um, no no sell price. It's just the same as the, the buy cost. So we're just going to increase that. So I'm going to go to pricing. And then I can actually increase the percentage of a particular brand. So if I say click or something or JCC, I can say put a margin on this. And I want to make 25% across that. I'm not going to sell at MSRP. I'm just going to sell my price, the cost. In fact, do you know what we'll do? do it across the whole entire catalog. So let me just clear that filter down. Let's do catalog wide margin. And let's say we want to make 25% on the materials. And I'm going to save this. So what that's going to do now is it's going to apply this fixed margin across every single brand across the expert electrical catalog, every single product, update it all, map all of those, um, all those price increases then. And also because it's live linked, 
then it's checking the pricing every single day. So it's not just checking the pricing, it's bringing new products through onto the platform. It's also bringing through um, and notifying you of things that have been discontinued as well, which is a big help because obviously, you know, you don't want a customer accepts the quote and then obviously something's either gone discontinued or maybe it's been superseded with another part. So you'll see now my buy cost and now I have a, uh, an increased by my sale price. So I've got my 25% across the whole catalog. So I know I'm making a little bit of money now. So now that's done. One of the next things I want to be doing is I want to be configuring my labor time. So under configure, I've got my labor types and here I've created a labor group. So this is like the place where you put in your labor type. So it could be a subcontractor, could be the apprentice, whatever it is, you know, you, you, you charge yourself out as a day rate or an hourly rate, you build that in this section here. So this is all under your labor types. So I've just pre-built some of these in today. So I've put first fix in my cost price or the burn rate price. I put it's 25 pound an hour and I've just put 50 pound an hour. I put 50 pound an hour in because it said it on Trekker. I don't know, but it said it was 50 pound an hour. I thought it was bloody good money that. I can see when I was an apprentice on 60 quid a week. Ridiculous. 12 pound a day. My bloody boss had me rewiring houses for 60 quid a week. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Proper apprenticeship I had. Lashed in the back of the van. No heating all the way down to London. Doing shop fitting. Never did I do that too? Do I ever lash you in the back of the van? Of course, I've just uh, fit out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did cut a little box out for you. I just passed you just a little treat, a little guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> You're not doing the French unless you've been lashed in the back of a van and done a long journey. <laughs> can't do that now, no, you can't do that now. No, no. Can't have a proper friendship getting beat up and mentally abused. <laughs> so, yeah, so whatever the rate is, you need to set that and also your hours per day. Now, if you're self-employed, <laughs> eight hours is probably not enough, but really eight hours should be the framework to price out to a customer. And if you do have any employees or staff members, then eight hours is the legal requirement, 40 hours a week. You know, that's pretty standard. So you can set your hours within a day. And then if you want to put your day rate or an hourly rate up to you, so it'll also calculate it. So if you want to change that to 45 pound an hour, it's then going to change that to 360 for you or vice versa, either or. I'm going to say it, save. Any questions on that next? You think I should go through anything just no, on the latest no, stuff? The only thing that I'd say is that we didn't mention that obviously the supplier sets your discount rate as well. So if oh, you okay. discount within their catalogue, obviously that gets pulled through as well. Yeah, that's just good to see that Nick's just pulled up there. Just going back to the catalogues. If you do have special discounts on brands, Okay, so that supplier can go in and set you a friends of the industry discount on ClickScolmore or whatever brand that you seem to get a better discount that's that's on the standard data feed. Um, you can set that, and if the supplier doesn't set it, you can still go in and set it yourself. So you can do that through discount section here, and it's just like that global price adjustment, um, you can then choose the brand and then set your discount off it of that particular brand. So if it's off ACO, then you get that brand. It will then display in the list that you get that discount. Usually. Yeah, they'll do it. But you can do it yourself. So you've got the flexibility of whatever you need. Um, if you want to add your own products, you can do. Uh, if you've got a weird price list from a random supplier, you can send that to us and we can import that for you. You can export in your own prices and stuff like that too. But you shouldn't need to if you're using the live link suppliers and um, there should be enough data there product data for you to build a proposal on okay so next thing is is systems so we just sort of go through this so to start quoting at speed one of the the the, the problems i solved was how do i start cookie cutting my jobs so worked out that pretty much i was fitting the same manufacturing brands I was fitting the same equipment because that was what I liked and I knew. The only thing that started to change was just literally the customer and the address and postcode. But the products and the services that I was selling were always the same. Um, then the, the solution that I built was I thought, okay, well, let's, let's call it a system or a service or a category. I called it a system, but essentially the same thing. 
So then if I go down to residential electrical, so I made this. So this residential electrical, I made this myself by adding a system. Then inside this, I call these subsystems. And this is where all the, the, the items are. So if I go to socket outlets, I have this thing called a toolkit. So just like your toolkit in your van or my networking box, or if I've got my testing box, if I'm doing that particular type of job, you go to your toolkit and then you might use all of the parts, but you're going to use some of them. And that was the point and the logic behind this was like, okay, the stuff I'm doing every day in work, this is how I wanted the software to function. You know, if I'm doing a particular type of work, and I just have that particular type of toolbox with those particular tools in it. And I'm not going to use everything. And I just want that the ability to just add these things and use them as and when I want to. And then you can add uh, pretty much any part to that toolkit. And then they will be linked to your supplier catalogs. And then you can start building up all your favorite parts. So you can then add these in. And I'll show you how this works in the quote in a second. Any questions so far on the Q and A's? Is everyone okay? No, any questions before I move on, chaps? No, we are good. Okay, I shall carry on. Okay, so let's just go over to the overview. So the overview when you first log into the platform, this is the sort of keeping a tally of everything that's going on with all your quotes. So what's been accepted, what's in progress, what's been sent, if it's been cancelled, if it's on ice, and then you've got your monthly margins here, which would then display how well you're doing uh, through the month. Okay, and then this is just the latest recent quotes here. So if I just go to this new electrical installation quote, um, click on that. So when you do a new quote, you can just literally say, new quote, choose the customer, pull the details in, and then just click create new quote, and that'll build, build a new proposal. I'm just gonna cancel that because I've already built one here. And then once that's built, it takes you straight through to the, um, to the quotes uh, summary page. So let me just click this button because I did that global update, all the prices are gonna increase. And to be honest with you, that's what's gonna happen in your account. So if Expert Electrical or one of the suppliers that's live linked, so you could be working on a quote in a day and then the price may even go up. So depending on the frequency of the, of the, this, of, of the live link, so you can see here, all these prices have gone up in price. I can click apply to the changes or I can say, look, I don't want to, you know, maybe this quote has been accepted or it's in sense stasis and I'll just need to swallow the cost. Then you can just untick it, click apply changes, it won't pop up. But in this case, I do want that to show. Apply the selected changes and then, boom, all my prices are up to date. And the quote summary is that sort of snapshot view of all the, the basic costings within this, within this proposal. You've got your product margin, the cost of the materials, the sell price of the materials, your labor, obviously there's nothing in this quote yet, your hours or your days, your total margin, and then the grand total. And let's just put in a cent date on here. I'm going to drop an expiry date in straight away. Let's do for next month, at the end of the month. And then you've got your quote details. So this is where you'll um, uh, put your quote number in. You can auto generate these. So there's a little under the company settings. So if you have moving from another quoting software or you're using Excel and you want to continue using your quoting number, software, quoting numbers, you can create the formula and it will just con numerically continue that on. Here's where you put the quote name in. So your customer details. It's not on a project yet because we haven't won this job. If it, if it was won, then it would be in a project. And if you were doing a quote for a customer that was actually already won and the project, it would then recognize it and say, hey, do you want this quote to be part of this project? So you might have done a full rewire and then whilst your job's going on, they might say, hey, Lee, can you add me an EV charger to this? And then you'd do a separate quote and it would recognize it and say, oh, you are part of this project. So yeah, and then you can also use this section for just simple line item quoting. So if you're doing your hanging bang quotes, just a few line item quoting, you would just use this section. You can just say add product, Go to my link catalogs, select the link catalog who you want to you want to buy stuff from. So you've got expert. Obviously, the categories are there again. And then you've got your configurable products. So your configurable products, this is something that no one else has. Okay, so this is built inside the expert electrical account that lets us then give us the ability to then choose the size of the back boxes, 37 mil, choose the finish. 
do I want it to be USB? Yes, change that again. And then you can just drop your cable in. Maybe you go put two for 20 meters. And then you can click add. Now, I'm not going to click add on this because I'm going to do this on X section. But that's just how powerful we quote is. And this is what we are striving to end people's quoting pain with all of this options because it's so much choice out there. It's ridiculous. Excuse me. There's so many choices now. There's so many services and it's just getting bigger and bigger. And then people asking for network, Wi Fi, mm -hmm. security, heated systems. And then on top of all of that, then the customer wants to choose all the different types of finishes and different configurations and switch configurations. And it's just a horrible nightmare to price. And even then coming to order it, it's even worse, mm -hmm. especially when you're doing the click mini grid and trying to build your switch plates and stuff like that. It's horrendous. So I'm trying to stop all of that, streamline it. And all these things are pre-built and just in we quote, and you just drop them in. So on this left-hand side here, this sort of like, the left hand container this is what i sort of built up which was like in my brain was like a logical way of building out my quote so the quote summary is yeah i can do a simple quote it's got that high level looking at everything everything but then when i wanted to do something just a little bit more than just a line item proposal then i made this and it's what i call the quote editor so it's a visual way of looking at the entire job and costs in one view let me just remove some of these items so let me just delete this whole floor just so i can see there's always one you see me to build this out now if i click this button which is add remove a system so this before where i've shown you these are like your system so if you do cctv as a service or you're doing an ajax intruder alarm or you're doing industrial electrical whatever it is that discipline the, the category i call it a system Wherever you provide to your customer, this is where it builds up and you can just pull it into your proposal. So you'll see like um, maybe it's fire detection, intruder alarm. Maybe I want to add the intruder alarm one in. I can put that in. So just click on that. I can update it and then it just drops it straight in. And then all my detectors and everything like that. So it's all in. And I want to remove it. No problem. Just go to intruder. Obviously, this is sample data here. Let's remove, update, and it's out. So we just want to concentrate on doing the electrical for this evening. So we've got socket outlets, lighting and switches, surge protection consumer units, earthing and outdoor lighting. Now we've got nothing in this, so we can use that and build on it. Um, but I'm going to add in another level. So these two trees, this is your system tree, and this is your groups and area tree. So this is where you, it's almost like I've got a box and I've got boxes named and I want to put products and services into these because, you know, when it comes to the proposal, I might want it to list out how many sockets are in the room or list out how many lights are going to be in the room. And when it comes to the alarm system on CCTV, I want to list out where that equipment's going to go. And, you know, so the customer knows, oh, garage, I'm getting this external patio. OK, putting the flood on. So it's, like I say, clearly defined proposal. It stops you uh, getting your fingers burnt. So if I just add a group. And let's just put them first four. Do you do yours like that, Nick? Yeah. 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 Like you say, but if you break down the rooms, it's a big beneficial to yourself and the customer. They know what they're getting and you know what they're providing and there's no arguments. And then I'm just going to add in an area. So that's first thing. We want a landing. We want bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three. And let's do main bath room. Okay. We can save this quote as well. So you can, if you build one decent size electrical quote, you can save it, clone it, copy it, copy sections, copy rooms into other quotes. That's the, the, the best bit about we quote. I always say to all my customers, if you find yourself, you keep repeating yourself. Just remember Lee said, that uh, if that's happening, I'm either doing something, I'm not using the platform in the right way. And um, you know, as always remember, we quote always about speed. So I've got my first floor in, put these areas in, and now I want to start adding some, some products. So let's start with the hallway. I'm going to go to my socket outlets. Let me just delete this one out for now. Delete. So I've selected my socket outlets. I've selected my hallway. And I'm going to select double socket. So select the double socket. 
I'm going to choose the metal back box, 35 mil. Do you want USB? Yes, no. Well, you've got the choice to do that. So I can say yes or no. Yes. You can also click this button, which makes it adjustable on the web quote, which I'm going to come to in, in a second. But so I'm just going to click that now and make that uh, adjustable. And then we're going to say we're going to start off with the cheapest, which is the white socket with no USB. And I'm going to fix the 35 mil back box. And I'm going to say we're going to do now, me personally, I like four mil radials. I'm not a fan of ring finals. I don't know about you guys out there, but no, I like to get my testing done really quick. <laughs> I ain't got time to test the ring final. It takes way too long. <laughs> it's an extra 10 minutes. So I'm just going to put in 0 0.20. So I'm just going to put 20 meters in or maybe 10 meters of cable. What you want to do. So if you just put 0 point, that will then split up that reel 100 meters and just use 10 meters of it. So I click add and that's added the socket in. So then I want to take this socket. I don't want to do all that configuration again. I want to copy it across all the other rooms. So I just click bulk edit. I edit that socket and then I select selected. And I'm going to say copy to one or more areas. So it's going to not going to be in the WC, the lounge, the kitchen, the dining, not the garage, not the drive, not the patio, maybe on the landing, the bedroom to three maybe in the bathroom if you're in europe but definitely not in the uk unless you've got a really big bathroom unless you've got a really big bathroom i did do work for a slovakian tyler he had three double sockets in his bathroom yeah in a two up two down you could literally reach out and turn the light switch on from the hallway it was that i was like you can't do that it's crazy but uh yeah so i'm gonna click next submit and then what that's done it then added in all of those socket outlets then in the right places for me. So it goes to added. Oh, did I click uh, add then? So it goes to ground. So there we go. So I've got my go across all areas. So I've used my filters to then go by all areas. And then I can see all my sockets there in what in one go. So the next thing I want to do is probably add some labor to this. So I'm just going to edit this one socket and i'm going to put some labor on it so we're going to say first fix hour 45 minutes yeah. i'm slow i'm slower than you yeah yeah yeah. i'm a snail that's what my missus says shit slower everything <laughs> so, so yeah so i'm going to put an hour in for me because i'm not the quickest but i'm going to do a second fix and i'm going to put in 0 0.2 maybe 0 0.5 10 minutes on that to put that on and i could even just put a little bit of testing time on there just to cover me for testing that circuit let's just go what do you charge for testing the circuit i do it as a separate do you like doing it separate yeah i, I charge well i charge for testing as a whole yeah oh so you do yours separately yeah yeah i'll Good. take that off then give the customer the option to choose the quantity of sockets in that room as well yes this is a good point so then I'm going to click this button which says update all lines with the labor. So I'm going to say everything I've added, please update that. So I'm going to click save. Okay, so now what that's done is it's allowed labor across all those sockets. Now what I want to do is I'm going to say that they, they, they want two double sockets in the hallway. The lounge is going to be six. I'll just update them. The kitchen is six again. Let's do eight in there. And then We've got the dining, let's go three. Landing, let's just do one. Bedroom, one, let's do five. Four doubles and four doubles like that. What do you think of that? That's about right, isn't it? Yeah. And now we've counted up all of these sockets that's going in. So it's 33 double sockets. It's gone in. Yeah. 2,200. I think that's too much. That's because my first fix is too much. It's too high. So we can tweak that. So we can say, do you know what? I want to drop this down a little bit. Zero. Let's just put that in for a half an hour first fix. 0.5. Save. Actually, just update that. Save. And it's brought it down. 1,500. Yeah. yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. What's the now? average price now for like a rewire? Exactly. Gone, are the, gone are the days in Birkenhead and Edwin you could get a rewire done for 850 quid. Yeah. Cash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. Cash rewire, 850. Yeah. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this option maybe that the customer can choose the quantity on this as well. So I can cl click this button and make it adjustable. So maybe at, for certain areas, I might say the lounge, they want to just adjust that one area. So I can say in the lounge, we can set a minimum of four and maybe we can set it to a maximum of eight, for example. I can save that. And what that button's just done is it's letting the customer um, choose if, what the quantity is. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the sockets in. Happy with that. Uh, let's jump on to do some lighting. Let's go to the ground floor. Let's do the hallway. Let's have a look what I've got on my toolkit. So if, you, if there's things that's not in your toolkit, you can always just view it as a search. I can either use the JCC ones. Let's just do it all. Click. What's that new brand called? That click oh, brand. Yeah. Oh, oh, Ogly. Oh, yeah, Ogly. Like yeah. Let's go to the link catalogs. And okay. Configurable. Oh, oh yeah. It's that one. This. Yeah. This, obviously, this is on all of this configurable parts is only available on, on export. So, like the CF catalog, don't have it. But if you reach out to your suppliers, tell them to come on We Quote. We can help them. It's free for any supplier to come onto the platform. We don't charge them to come, but we want suppliers on. We're trying to make it easy for us to quote our jobs. The door is always open if anyone wants to um, introduce us to new suppliers. Yeah. Whether it's an independent or your local. Yeah. So it's a national, you know, regional, small independent. Yeah, we, we'll facilitate all the connections and do all the software integration to get these guys on board, you know, because that's our job is to help you with your quoting. and. Um, you know, so we're, we are constantly adding new suppliers to the platform. So, yeah, so I'm going to choose this down right, select this, and then I can either choose if it's either going to be integrated, LED, fixed, or it's going to be the recessed one. I'm just going to choose the standard one for now, and I'm just going to use white, keep it simple, but I might actually just let the customer choose his own finish as well. So if I just add this in and... Um, that is now gone into my toolkit, you see. So when I added it, I had a little button ticked up there which said add it to my toolkit. And I can reorganize this however you want. So if I say I want this guy at the front, then I can just drag it up and move it up. And that's across the whole platform, by the way. So if you want to move things around, you can just move it around. You know, and that, that's what it's about. It's everything's just drag and drop. So what the whole way at the bottom, it can go to the bottom, all the way back up there. You can just move it around. The same for these areas and groups. I want the first floor there. I can move them around. So you'll do a lot of dragging, dropping, reordering functionality throughout the whole platform. If there's a list, you can reorganize it. So I've got my down light in. It's in the hallway. I can use the little hyperlink to go into the hallway as well, which is a nice little feature. It's telling me I've got one down light. Maybe I need to start building this up. So you can help me here, Nick, with some labor cabling. What you yeah, think? One mil all day. Yeah. What do you need 1.5 for now? There's no need for 1.5. It's just a waste of money. How many LED downlights can you get on? Six amp on a one mil. To get loads. Oh, it's just nice. Would like Blackpool? Yeah. For, uh, just put one mil in that. One mil. Go one mil. Go one mil. So I'm going to add an accessory to this. So I'm going to say add some cable to it. I go to my link catalog. I'm at this load expert. So six, two, four, two. Why? Don't remember that. Don't forget them codes, my friend. Spring and Earth. That's the one we want. Going to add that. Boom. But what I'm going to do is now this cable wasn't automatically pulling through from Expert, so this is just in my own account. Now, now I want to save this forever for you know as, a, as, as an accessory or how I want it to go in at, so I can edit the master. So I can say, edit the master, and I can go to the accessory, and I can add accessory from the quote item, and I can say it goes in default as zero, and I can save that. And then I can also then put my labor to it again. So first fix, second fix, downlights are a bit of a... No, what? Marking up and drilling oh. through. If you're doing a rewire, it's the horrendous. First fix. First, if you first fix a new build, new, new build, oh, sweet. Rewire, you just. 
You might as well just load a shotgun up and just blow up cheese holes into the kitchen ceiling. <laughs> so this can be adjusted. Yeah. If we then say, let's go 0. 0.75, something like that, because you could have a nightmare. Or we'll just put in just half, an hour, half an hour per one. Yeah. Second fix. Ten minutes. Bloody hell. He's, he's, why are you never this quick when you work for me? <laughs> no, he's used to, oh, dragging it out. First and I'll tell you what he used to do. He used to walk around dragging his feet. <laughs> the only time he moved quick is on a Friday. Back in the van, mate. Right, so put and yeah. Happy with that? I'd say before you bulk edit as well, I'd put a minimum where what we're in there in the hallway. Yeah. I'd put a minimum stay three in. And then that's gonna copy to all the other rooms. Copy all those other rooms, yeah. Just say three. Um are we gonna go four? Or are we gonna stay? Let's say we split the quantity. Yeah. Okay, so then we can go to like what ten, yeah. and then we just say the quantity is four. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that. We've got our cable. Um, multiply the accessory by the quantity. No, but we probably want to hide the cable though. We don't want to multi. Uh, we are going to multiply the accessory by the quantity, and we're going to put in point how many meters? Ten meters. Yeah. Put it down like yeah, point ten. So we've got 40 meters of cable. So I'm happy with this now. So I'm going to save this. Right. So all of these items, as in I can bring that labor through as well. Save that. Date labor. That's fine. So I'm happy with that now. So I configured this one part. What done forever. I never need to do that ever again in any more of my quotes going forward. That click down light is configured with cable and labor and pretty much everything I need. If you want to put like where goes and all those little bits, you can just... You can go, yeah, you can go down to cable clips. It's, it's just build up these little packages. And then these live link parts are just keeping it up to date. So if the one mil cable goes up in price, then this goes up in price. And everything's just tied in with the supplier in real time. And like I said before, you know, it's up to you to choose if you want to do the price update or not if you started the quote. So that's entirely up to do. You know, it's, but yeah, it's, it's just if like you've, the quote's been sent out, the customer's agreed it, and it's gone up by 10 quid. You just say, oh, God, just, yeah, I'll just follow that one. So you're going to use the bulk edit function again. So select bulk edit. It's selected. Go to the down lights. So we're going to say, let's copy to one or more areas. We're going to go everywhere, aren't we? WC, lounge, kitchen, dining, not the garage. Landing. We're going to a full house of yeah. down lights. Oh, God. It's going to be big bucks. Okay, bathroom. Leave that one out. IP rated. Yeah, that'd be All right, just flash them in then. Put them in. Update. What are we up to now? 4,160. We're getting there. Get the board on as well. Yeah, you're not far off. Right, come on, what have we got left? 15 minutes. Right, okay. And then we need to build the proposal. So um, that's done. Let's get the board in. So we're going to go down to the garage. That's already in, so let's just delete that out. I've got my fuse board here. Drop that in. Okay, so trying to make it easy for us. So average board, which one do you like to install there? 14 ways. usable ways. Yeah. We're going for that. And then everyone does these uh, A and the mini ones, people like a lot of the minis now. So do we do a bit of both? Okay, so let's, okay, let's put them in then. So we're going to go four threes, 32s. Yeah. yeah. So we've got usable ways is seven now. So you see how it's counting it down for us? And then we'll do a mini A and A and AC. Okay, mini 32 for a car charger. Okay, mini 32 the car charger. Da, da, da. Which ones are them ones I want? I 32, one of them. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just do, we'll put the rest in with, oh, we need that. I'll tell you what we do need. We'll probably want a 40 amp for the cooker. Yeah. yeah. Happy with that. Five ways. And then, so last thing we just need to do is probably just add some blanks. Got five left. Let's put five ways in. Two, three, four, five. Happy with this? Click add. Okay. Built. There's your board. Ready to go. Do you want to add some labor to this? No problem. Add your labor. Ooh, what are you saying, Nick? Second fix. Half a day. Four hours. Yeah. Four hours. Put that in. Save. That'd take me longer than four hours. I'd be a day. I'm a day on that. My OCD would just be nuts. I'd be doing ferrules and cable markers and just going absolutely nuts. Like a signature 
artwork, piece of art, my boards. Um, going to do a bit of earthing, yeah. So let's just drop some earthing into the garage. Now we've already put this in. Well, let me just uh, quickly show you what this is. So Nick's actually built some of these on. Did you build these? Is it these packages or these? Did you build these? Did you build these? Oh, packages, yeah. Oh, packages, yeah. Uh, so let me just drop them out. Let's just delete these. Delete. Okay. So we put that together so we can say like earth bonding. Okay. So we can either do by the meterage. Let's just say four meters, one earth bonding. All the packages add earth. Same again. We can do this as a whole. This is a hundred meters. Let's just say we only need point three. Yeah, whatever it is. Drop that in. I'll just put 30 meters on there for now. Save. And then water earth bonding. And then let's just go point three. Save that. Now I've also add some labor to that as well. So add my labor. First fix. Hour, yeah. getting it in, and um, we just do second fix, and I can just put 10 minutes on living on that. So I can just go 0 0.10 minutes, and I can save that. So you can see how that starts to go through. Okay. Um, so just the last bit now, which is we want to start putting this onto a, a proposal. Just before I do that, I just might want to look at my price adjustments. So the price adjustment is where you massage the figures over the line, you want to manipulate the price. So you build your solution, then you use the price adjustments to manipulate the figures, okay? This is like your buy price of your products. You can filter this by manufacturer, and you can filter this by the catalog of where you're buying it from, and you can also edit the cost price. Maybe you get a special discount on something just for this one time of a job, and then you can also then uh, tweak your labor as well from here. So it's that uh, pretty easy. If it's a new build job, then you can use a VAT section where this will then, you if it's a new build, then obviously we don't charge VAT. And sometimes, depending if it's a charity or whatever type of registered status that company is, it may be reduced VAT to 5% as well. Any questions on VAT before we move on? Yeah. Okay. So we quote, what we do is we help you and we hold your hand and onboard your company to have winning proposals. Um, and what we would do is we have this free onboarding service where my team will look at your website, we'll take your logos, and we'll style the proposals and do all the work for you and get set up. And Nick even might help you do an onboarding as well and show you how to use WeQuote the most. But we're going to make your quote proposals look sexy. And that's our job. We want winning proposals. That is done by here. So we create a proposal and we build you these templates. So here I've got an electrical proposal with areas, which has already been selected. Close that down. And then it generates our quotation here. So let's just view it. So you can send the customer a PDF, or you can send the customer a web link up to you how you want it to go out. I would suggest sending it to them as a, um, a web link because you can make it interactive. You can change the cover page. So if I want to change that cover page, not a problem. Just click on edit the cover page. Browse, select a different one, maybe this or this house, open, select it, save, refresh, and look how quick it is. That's, that's what we want. That's why we use Amazon AWS. It's the best and the quickest. So an introduction, 12 new house road, whatever they are. You can drop these graphics in yourself here very easily. An introduction about the business, maybe you, or a covering letter. We use these things called tags, so you're not writing this out every single time. This is all pulling through and tagging within the platform, adding up the total price of the job. We also help you set up your terms and conditions, so you can have an outline terms and conditions, then maybe a link off to your full T's and C's. So we can help you do with this as well. Then you might give it a project summary, and then you can break out the material cost and the labor cost up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. You can show, hide. You can show, don't show the price. You can have it so it just shows the total cost for the room. It's up to you. And that's the power of WeQuote. It can, it can do anything and show anything in any way. So if you look at this socket now, the customer can click on this. And you can say, do I want USB? Yes. Actually, keep it white. Or they can choose a different finish. You can update that and it changes the price. So now the price has gone up. 
Maybe I want to start just in the quantity. We said the lowest was three. Maybe the customer wants bat ones. They can have bat ones. And that's, that's this, per room as well. And that's per room. Yeah. You can also add in, if you wanted to add in another socket, so you have two options for setting the quantity for USB and just a standard socket. So they're not all USB or all standards. You can yeah. set that in as well. Yeah. And then you can reorder these. So let me just uh, give this a tweak. So I might just want to say external. External. And I want to put that garage and I'll move it to there. So I've got garage south side, first floor, and I've done it like that. So then when I refresh, again, just pull through, and then so my garage being within the ground floor, it's now going to be at the bottom down here, listing everything else. Now you might want to show the customer the individual prices. So you can remove that as well. So if I wanted to get rid of the prices to the customer, I can just go into the proposal view, click edit, and I just go down to my item list, select that, and I just click this button here, add the price, and it's gone. So um, you know, that's a nice way of um, uh, you know just, just hiding prices. And if I want to do the price per the room, I could just add another total here, add total, I can finish that. And then what we've done is we've now added just the cost, so the quantity and the cost for the room. So it's up to you how you want to do it. And then you can reorganize this. You could have the quantity left hand side, right hand side, however you want. You know, that's the help you do that. Let me just show you. So that's an electrical quote done. So in theory, you help you build one quote, you're never going to need to do another build a template ever again. And the pricing is always going to keep up to date. So one of the things we're going to add in is a um uh so new build template. We're going to do like a bit of a rewire one, a loft conversion. Yeah. yeah. And then multi-plot. Yeah, multi-plot one we're looking at doing. And then obviously then industrial, electrical and stuff like that. So whatever type of work you're doing. Uh, I do have um, some other little uh, parts, which I'm not actually showing on this. Uh, but I will add it in if people request for me to put some samples in their account. We can do that. And I'll just very quickly show you like how you can even upsell and get involved into other industries. So if we look at a uh, wireless alarm, for example, I've built this wireless alarm. Now this one, I've actually put some options on here. So I built these options and these are built and saved from a library. Um, the same process happened again. I just added the system, I added the areas and I put the parts in. So when this one generates, so this could be about you. You could have a gallery of all the jobs that you've done showing all your social media posts, an introductory about the, the alarm system, explaining or choosing if you want to expand these or not. Terms and conditions, again, this is one of the really good things about WeQuote is you can actually embed video technology about things. So imagine um, you might want to add uh, something about solar EV chargers. Would you like to add an EV charger to your project? Yes. Then you can just tick a box and add these things in. So here you can say like fobs for your intruder alarm. Do you want to have panic buttons? Yes, no. They can choose them. It's got the data sheets. Here's the type of detector in the entrance hall. Do you want the motion cam one? Well, that's included. But if you have the standard one, you're saving £32. So we're giving the customer the information and the ability for them to make their own conscious decision. So you kind of create the maze for them to navigate and then you can steer them. You know, so if they want to be a, um, a door hinge and not spend much money, then, you know, they can really take it all the way down and, you know, even remove things from the proposal themselves. And then here, the same again. And like here, you can say, do you want to add a window detector? Add it. Or maybe you just want to remove it. External motion detectors. Do you want them? Yes. No, I don't want them. Take them out. You know, 750 quid. I don't want to spend that kind of money. Or maybe... Kind of just one of the left hand side of the garage. I'll have that. You know, if you're giving the customer the choice. You can put all that into one proposal as well, can't you? Where they can say, Do you want to add an alarm system to your project? And then that yeah. bring through all yes. the into that one proposal yeah. that you sent to them. So yeah, like literally look next right what you're saying. You could literally just have the option just saying, Do you want to add this in? It will just add the whole section. So let me just go show you a very quick example of that. Open this one. Open this. So this is, I'm only showing you this, it's like 
the types of options. And this is like a, a thousand light bulb moment thinking, actually, do you know what? That would work well when I'm trying to give a customer a choice on something. So here, this is a multi-select choice. Then maybe you're doing a door entry system and then they might just want the door entry, but then you might want to offer them, well, here's some video touch panels that you can have inside the house or something. Then you can say, yes, I will have these in. Now, if we have these unticked, you give the client the choice and they've not absolutely crapped the pants and go, oh crap, this is way too much money. They park it or they just take your quote, give it to someone else. So by having these options unticked and explaining to the client when you're walking around and capturing the field and trying to find out about what they want and you go away and building a solution to them, always try and think about the options. And I always say to the client, oh, I'll give you an option for that. Build it once and you never need to do it again. Look identical to, to, to all your logos, your icons, your font. Um, have you got some nice pictures of uh, you on site with the vans? We can help you in build that because it's all about building a story up. You know, your customers are buying off you as a person. You know, they want you working in the house because, you know, most of the time it's because they like you, they've got referred, you know, it's, and, and, you know, winning work is, is about building up relationships with your customers. A lot of my customers have ended up calling my friends who I worked for over the years. That's why the options are a big thing as well because you're letting them build their own package. Yeah. Really. So, and the win rate, I can't remember what it is. What's the win rate? It's so, nearly 99%. It's pretty much a given if you use um, the options because what you've done is you've, you've actually, you can go in at the cheapest price without losing your margin on the materials and selling yourself short on your labor because. You know, 99% of the time, they always upgrade anyway. They always upgrade. And then we can see that. So we can give you the analytic and the feedback so you know how long the customers looked at it for, you know, how long they were looking at it, when they opened it. And, you know, the best thing to do there is you, know, you can get a message and an email come through when the customer look at it, pick up the phone, speak to them, say, I, you know, strike while the iron's hot. If they're looking at it, give them a call and they will appreciate it. Or maybe they think you're a stalker. <laughs> Well, the other, <laughs> but a lot of the time, you know, I would say if you walk into a sweet shop or a car garage, and you want to go and buy a new car, or go and buy some sweets, and no one serves you. You know what do you do? You, you walk out the shop, and why would you send a quote over to someone for four grand, five grand, or ten grand, and then you have that no interaction with them? You know, so it's always you know you want to engage with people as, as as much as you can. And here again, we're just showing the the automation. This is like a bit of a control for showing the video, this could be a, a type of lighting. Like I showed in the other video, it was it was a type of um, an alarm system. And you know, it's like, no thanks, I don't want it. So at the end of your electrical quote, you could have, are you interested in an Ajax wireless alarm or upgrading to a Taxicom alarm or upgrading for Hig Vision or Dawa CCTV? Whatever it is, you can upsell without the quote going over at an extortionate price. And that's the point of this. Is look, you, I don't want to keep your seven visions. When I was one of my installation business, I never used to go out looking for more work. I would just tell my existing customer base, I do this now. Or I'd do a little job and then say, oh, look at this I did at the other person's house. And then, you know, it just grew like that. That's where a lot of my work came from. Same here, touch panels, and you're just giving them the option. No, thank you. I don't want it. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a tool to help you win more work. Oh, this is a good one, actually. So here, do you want to upgrade your CCTV? Great example. Customer says, I need to replace that camera. Yeah, okay, I can replace that camera. So I'll give you a price to replace it. I can also give you a price. Uh, could I give you a price to do an upgrade as well? So you give them a price to do the, the one camera. Upgrade that. He or she's going to tick this box. They're always going to look at, oh, how much would it be of this? Or what do I get if I had that? Tick it explaining what you're doing this is the upgrade you're now moving up to a hd camera and they might just go do you know what Lee? i think i'll go for that yeah that, that can convert through to upgrading all lighting to led come to it, something like yeah. that you go to a job and can i replace this light oh actually yeah. how much is it to upgrade to full led things um yeah it just gives you a breakdown uh, we can also help with you like, service contracts and things like that, and setting up maintenance agreements. And then also you've got your payment stages, which is a separate part, which is all part of the setup and the configuration of the onboarding, um, where we help you set up how you do your deposits to your customers and things like that. So that's pretty much quoting done. Um, very, very quickly, 
once a quote is won, we do have projects where you can then load your projects into your, uh, your jobs. So if we say this job, the rewire, let's get it accepted. We're happy with it, how it's looking. All right, one second, go to that one. We're happy the way this looks. We want to click send. So we send the proposal. It's going to flag up if there's any issues. So if there's anything zero margins, low margins, I'm trying to stop you from making a mistake where you go, oh, holy crap, I didn't put enough price on, didn't put any labor on this. It's going to show you maybe there's an issue. But that we're okay for now. We're going to confirm because you can't click send. Confirm it. Send. And then this is, so then you can either download it as a PDF or I can just copy the web link, stick that on an email, put it on a WhatsApp, send it to your customer. You know, so you've got the choice of either doing it as a PDF, which I'm not stopping you to, you know, change, break the mold of doing it the most traditional way. And it still keeps the hyperlinks as well. Well, the best way to send out your proposals is by far definitely using um, the, the interactive web quotes. Once that's being won, the customer can then look at the proposal. He can sign and accept that quote as well. So they can, if I just copy this, let's just go to here, paste that open. And then the customer can go, yeah, I'm happy with this. He can leave a note. He can download the PDF. He can sign it. Boom. Put the name in. Bob's happy with this. Accept. That goes completed. You'll get an email a notification that you've won some work. Thumbs up, happy days. That's what we want. I can refresh this now. This has been accepted. And then it says to me, hey, Lee, you've won this job. There is no project for it. So I'm going to create this project. So you're going to be new house, whatever it is. The signee is Nick. Save. Sign to project. And then I can go to the project from here. Or I can go back to my projects. Click on this. And then you can start invoicing from this. Generate your POs to your suppliers. So I can go right invoice to my customer. Select this quote that's been accepted. I can invoice it by the line items. I can invoice it by the area. Maybe just ordering all the stuff for the ground floor first and the second floor. It might be doing the rewire across, splitting it across, or downstairs. Sometimes that does happen. Or you can just invoice the whole lot, all the materials up front. Maybe just take the labor out. There's the deposit. Do it like that. Or just do it as a percentage. So if you want to say it's 50%, um, not 500%, but maybe it's 50% on the labor, 50% on the materials, Confirm that will then automatically generate as an invoice. And then these two tabs, really important. You can then choose to be itemized, choose to include the labor. Maybe I do it by the system. Maybe I do it by the subsystem. So lighting, earthing, surge protection, but I'm not, I'm just going to do it by the quote. And I'm just going to say to the customer, this is 50% deposit to the client where a percentage is gone. There. Click save. And then this links with QuickBooks, Zero, Zoho Books, and Sage, and also Zapier. So, so you, you are well covered for any accountancy, and it will push off this through into to your accountancy package. And you can also then put your own invoice numbers, and you can even change the uh, customer details just in case they may ask you to invoice it to somewhere else, <laughs> just in case. You never know. These things happen. <laughs> so, then you can preview it or mark it as sent. So just preview the invoice. There we go. Invoice done. I can mark this as sent. Thank you. Close it. So it's say, right, this is now unpaid invoices, ready to be paid. That would then post off to your zero, and then the customer can then pay it, and it will pull back and say paid. After they've made a payment, you then want to start making a purchase order. So you want to then what part of your order to your suppliers. And let's just say maybe it's just uh, everything ground floor or areas, however you want to do it, all systems, maybe just the sockets. Just click that, all the items, and it puts everything together, all my items there then. And then I can click send to supplier, put the email in of the supplier. It will then forward them the PDF with everything in it. Like I said at the beginning of the meeting, we have got Live Link version 2. And you will be able to click the button. There'll be a new button where you can load it straight into your supplier's basket. This will save you even more time. And you can choose what, um, you know, you can actually choose yourself, you know, physical quantities, and then you can mark these off if it's been delivered or not been delivered and, and so forth. And you can even 
adjust where the PO is going. So you can say order by me, order by who, whoever, where is it going, go and direct to site, all that information can be, can be captured here. We do have a pick list and then also um, we do have like project management side of things as well where we've got the Snag app, um, but I'm not going to go too much into that tonight. I'll save that for another webinar um, and probably do a, another deep dive on then managing your project, how to make a profit out of your project once you've won a job using the Snag application, um, managing change orders and things like that and how to deal with the client and the paperwork side of that process. Um, so any questions? And let's go. Now is the time to ask some questions. Any questions? So we can put them in the Q and A. Will be good. Anything you want to ask, Nick? Mm -hmm. Look, I don't think we've covered quite the wide range yet. No. Obviously, it's only a snapshot of what you've seen. You can, you can it's as powerful as you want it to be. Into it. So, look, it's a tool built by one of us for us. Um, we appreciate everyone's feedback, and um, we're constantly innovating and trying to streamline the quoting process um and uh, making it as, as good as we can you know and uh trying to end the the people's quoting pain and, uh and that's what this platform's about to feedback as well, yeah we are we're a little bit different to a lot of software companies we actually create um whatsapp groups for each one of our members our paying customers so you can just literally just direct messages you know you could you might need help at 10 o'clock at night on a saturday mm -hmm. You can just do a video on your screen, say, hey, we grow team, how do I do this? And you're going to get a, maybe a bespoke video come back to you, a message come back to you, usually within about six minutes. That's our response time. Because I know, and I've been in everyone's situation where it's like, no one gets paid to quote. No one. <laughs> Absolutely no one gets paid to do a proposal. So if you're sat in front of we quote, I know you're not getting paid to do that. So if you're stuck on something and you need help, we are very quick to respond. And that's our job is to help you um, streamline and standardize uh, your quoting process. Oh, yeah. The pricing. Good point. Good job you're here, Nick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you do the next demo? <laughs> you can do projects. So pricing. So when I came up with this, I didn't want to price on users for the platform. Um, it used to irritate me how they take on new staff. Next minute, they're costing me loads more money, like 35 quid a month, 50 quid a month extra for each other. It just gets ridiculous. So the way I priced it was fair pricing that scales with your business. So that means you can go up the package and you're having a bad time. You can go back down the package. Okay, so it's um, everyone starts off on light. So light is for companies that turn over really around about 200, 210,000 maximum. Um, so depending on your size, you can, so most most electrical companies are on around about the £35 a month package, which is the light package, and it rolls over. So if you do get one big massive job in, don't worry, you're not going to go to the pro. But if you do keep getting that massive jobs in every single month, month after month after month, you're probably going to move up, and you won't mind moving up because you're making hundreds of thousands of pounds a month, and the, that, the software is helping you scale your business, and that's what this is about. If you start to do well then we do well. And if you're having a bad time and it's a bit of a bad storm, you can go back down and you're not losing features or having to, you know, disconnect users from the platform. So how do you have the platform and is there any coming on the way um, of so, the system? So um, got, got a few ready. joining at the moment. So it's like Old Fields, Express Electrical, talking to... Rexel at the moment as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm trying to talk to Eddie's. It's uh, look, you guys bang the drum for me. I am. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I'm not buying off you anymore until you go on we quote goodbye. <laughs> That's what one customer did to one of the suppliers, and they came on the next day after me trying to get them on for two years. So uh, look, the power is in your hands, and um, for the uh, their solar yeah, so distributor. Thursday, yeah. And, uh, now we're on the platform this week. So yeah, we can move quickly. It's it's it, the issue is never with us. We've built the the software in a way so it's the least path of resistance for these guys. It can removed all the excuses. There's no excuse for them to come on. It's free for them to come on. It's free for us to do the integration. We've already done every single integration to each e-commerce platform, each e ERP platform that they're using, even hosted spreadsheets, whatever 
even a crappy CSV, wherever they give us, we can accommodate for it. But we will do and facilitate all those connections. Uh, you know, and that's what we're try, trying to do with these suppliers is just yeah, make it easy for them. Remove the excuses. If you do connect up to um, third-party softwares, uh, I do charge for this now. It used to be free, but what started happening was two things. It was actually cost me a lot of dev time in keeping these connections up to date. And then obviously I'm then providing technical support for Zapier, Stripe, Zoho, Zero, QuickBooks, Sage, and asking me how to do all these things and counts. And even though it's sometimes not even to do with us, so we charge 10 pounds per connection. So it's not user. So if you do connect, we quote to zero, we charge. Ten pound a month for two pound fifty a week, which is you know it's not big money. I'll just put a quick message in to ask what everyone's yeah. the sellers that they use now, um, just to get a quick snapshot. We do a specialist onboarding for people, so I'm not trying to sell you anything here. The standard onboarding that we provide for everyone, which is free of charge, is good enough. But if you have your own special quote that you've built and you don't want to use the we quote framework. But we are the software company and we're not like others. We can basically make your quote look like anything you want. So, and we've got some amazing uh, things that we've done for, for some of our customers that's uh, very impressive, um, which are our, our special packages that we've built for them, which are just a one time payment. But, you know, like I say, I'm not trying to sell this. It's just if you're thinking, oh, it's too fixed or that's not for me. Well, then we do offer these special um, themed full bespoke onboarding packages. But for most people like myself, the standard week quote, it worked well for me and it can work well for everybody else. Well, yeah, it works well for Nick. Yeah. Any more, any more questions? No. No more questions? No more questions so far. So I'll sort of wrap things up then, guys. I just want to say thank you for everyone coming on tonight and giving, giving me your time. Mm -hmm. Hope you, you've enjoyed it and um, opened you up to uh, the WeCo platform. And thank you for Nick for coming down. Thank you very much, yeah. mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Always helping out all for the call, so. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you very much. And um, please sign up. It's a free trial uh, and people will be in touch. And then um, um, if you want to go ahead, we'll get a WhatsApp group set up and we'll get all the onboarding done. And then you can either have a demo with me or Nick, and we can help you get through that first quote together and try and make it a success. No, we don't ask for any card details on the on the trial. So um, let me just stop recording. So recording's finished. So yeah, we are done. Gents, thank you very much.